Maddie Rocks on location at NAM 2020, Anaheim, California, day number four of NAM, the closing out of NAM. I'm at the Hawaiian Ukulele and Guitar Booth with Mr. Robert Yates. How you doing? I'm doing great, Maddie. How you doing today? I'm good. So day number four in NAM, the closeout in NAM. The closeout. Oh. So break down your NAM experience, and I know this was your first year presenting as a vendor at NAM. How did it all go for you? I think it did really well. We've gotten a lot of positive feedback on the quality of our instruments. Um, I, I think it's been an exceptional experience for the company. Right on. Uh, if you could uh, give give the viewers a little insight to the company and where you guys come from and how the company came to be. Well, the company came to be um, basically eight years ago we kicked in with uh, Hawaiian ukulele and guitar. Uh, we were making quite frankly, chainmail jewelry. Right. <laughs> and I was building some ukuleles as well. And we opened up a little 10 by 10 shed um, in downtown Kailua, Kona on the big island of Hawaii. And uh, we very quickly just blossomed from that point. And all along we continued to develop the line and grow it uh, to the point where we are today. Well, you've come a long way. We certainly have. Absolutely. Talk about the craftsmanship that goes into these beautiful ukule ukuleles that we see behind us. Well, the ukulele is, um, you know, there's a long history of ukulele building in Hawaii simply because that's where the ukulele was created. Right. Uh, and so, as a luthier, I've tried to, to understand the history of the ukulele itself as far as construction and maintain the integrity of that while continuing to you know, sort of tweak it out and, and improve. Right. Talk about the different woods, the, all the beautiful woods that go into making these. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, the original wood of the ukulele, as created by Manuel Nunez, the gentleman who created the ukulele, he used koa wood. Koa wood is an endemic wood to the island of Hawaii. You find it nowhere else in the world. Right. And that was the original wood. Of course, uh, as the ukulele gained popularity, um, it became difficult for the builders outside of Hawaii to get the koa, so they started looking into other woods to create the instrument. Uh, the wood that became most notably used after that was mahogany. Uh, beautiful. So right here, these are mahogany, okay. all solid mahogany instruments. Okay. And that was what became the most popular, actually, on the, on the mainland here. People became used to hearing the sound of that mahogany. Does different, does different woods make different sounds? Every single tone wood gives you a different sound depending upon its density okay. and its pore structure. Okay. Okay? And as, as that wood gets more dense, it vibrates less violently and gives you a softer, gentler sound. And then depending on the pore structure, that, will in, that can affect the sweetness of the tone. Right on. Right on. So, Robert, what separates your ukulele, ukuleles from, <laughs> I got I to make sure I get that right, uh, what, what separates your ukuleles from other ukuleles that are out there on the market? Well, with our line of ukuleles, not only with the ones that I personally build, but the ones that I have designed that are built for us elsewhere, I have designed each and every model we have. And I have made sure that we stick to strict quality control standards so that everything is as playable as possible. I don't care if you buy a hundred dollar ukulele or a thousand dollar ukulele, they have to be equally playable. Right. They have to have the best sound possible. And that's what we strive for in our line. In a lot of ukuleles out there, folks are coming on the market selling stuff which, you know, from a luthier standpoint, is a toy. <laughs> right. Yeah, just to be honest, from a luthier standpoint, we wouldn't, we wouldn't touch it. Um, and so this is what we strive for in our line is to maintain the integrity of the playability, the integrity of the sound of the instrument. Right on. If people are interested in finding out more about this product, where can you direct them? Uh, well, we have a growing uh, stable of distributors out there. And if you can't find a distributor near you, where you live, you can always find us at hugukulele.com or our, our own personal store at hawaiianukulele.com. Right on. Yeah, go check them out. Beautiful product here. Robert, thank you for taking the time out of your busy last day in NAM. Continued success to you guys and what you guys have got going on here. Thank you, Matty. I appreciate it. Matty Rocks and Robert Yates of Hawaiian Ukulele and Guitar Company. Matty Rocks, out.